All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. Right here we are in the QBO gym. The QBO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every month we come out with new exercises and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we are going to be working in the March year one section, our cardio section, where we really focus on those basic skills. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what is going on in Craig's world this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz as it does relate to the video up above. Below that are all of the exercises in this section. And at the bottom is an optional area where after you have completed all of the exercises in this section, we do have some sample posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's finish up the cardio section with our last exercise where we're going to practice paying Craig's bills with a credit card. So go ahead and click on that link to get the exercise pulled up. I have it over here on the right hand side. So let's read through our scenario. Craig would like you to pay any outstanding bills with the credit card. So let's see how to do this. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left side of my screen. This is the dashboard, and this is what it will look like when you sign into it. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. Now there are many ways to pay bills. Most common is to use Melio, which is an integrated bill payment system in QBO. However, when paying with a credit card, Melio charges a small fee, which Craig may not want to pay. Typically, you will want to use whatever method the vendor has set up for you. Some have their own website to collect payment. Some will send an electronic bill, such as with QBO or another uh, online software and some still send a paper bill, which you need to return in the mail. You will need to work this out with each vendor. Once you have made the payments, you will need to record them in QBO. So what we are about to do here is making the recording of that bill being paid, not actually paying the bill through QBO. So let's go ahead and get started and mark that payment. We need to click on the plus new button and then click on pay bills. Plus new button is on the top left corner of your screen. Go ahead and click on that. Under vendors, you're going to select pay bills. Now the bills with the red mark indicate those that are overdue. You can see right here, it says overdue for these four. Craig asked you to pay all outstanding bills. Did he mean only these or did he mean all of them? You may want to get clarification. For the purposes of this exercise, we'll mark that we have paid all of these bills. So in the payment account field, we want to select MasterCard. Click into that box right there. Go ahead and select MasterCard. And this is because remember he had said to pay all of the bills in the scenario. He had said to pay all the bills with the MasterCard. We are going to leave this payment date as is, but of course you would want to change this in real life to whatever the date is that you made the payment. We're going to click on the checkbox next to the pay, to payee to select all. So click on that top checkbox right there. All of them have been selected. And you will notice that by clicking that box, all the bills were selected and the amount is auto filled. If you are not paying all the bills, um, you can just enter the amount of the payments on the bills you are paying. So if you are not paying these open balances in full, like uh, QBO has automatically assumed, you would make the adjustment here in that payment box. And of course, if you haven't paid a bill, you would uncheck it so it's not showing here. So we're all done here. We just need to click on save and close. So click on that down arrow next here, next to schedule payments. And then you can go ahead and select save and close. And there you go. All five of those bills have now been marked paid and that is how you pay the bills. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just click on the link below in the description. 
We have finished the cardio section. We move on to the strength training section with our next exercise where we practice setting up projects. And I will see you in the next